other side's a lot busier, isn't it? And up to the train platform. That's exactly what I need. Bye, Canada. Okay, I can't film anymore. It's top secret. I have to go through a security protocol there. Oh, look at the size of those shrimps. When I lived down here, I used to take this boat almost every day. It's one of the many hotel service boats. You know a secret way. Ah. So I used to live here for two years as well. Love it. Right on the riverside. For a fraction of the cost of what you pay the five-star hotels all around you. Let's go. Okay, moving day. Let's have a look. Yeah, not bad. Nice looking Bangkok morning there. By the way, just for reference, right there is Terminal 21 and Sukhavit BTS. Great location, this hotel. Great value, too. But we're heading to another top value hotel, this time on the riverside. First up, pack up and a shower. Let's hit it. See, it's got a little kitchenette, by the way. Kind of handy. And old school Hong Nam. Hong means room, Nam, water. <laughs> room with water. Makes sense, doesn't it? Right, shower. She's an old school shower with tub, but it's piping hot. Fine by me. <laughs> okay, all showered up. That's another thing I like about this hotel, besides having a fridge. They've got plates, cups, utensils, all sorts. Handy. They do have breakfast in the hotel here, but I'm going to head off to the Canadian Embassy to get my passport. So I'm just going to have a quick 7-Eleven breakfast. Yogurt and granola, simple and fast. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. By the way, look back in the previous vid for a tour of this hotel. Again, this old school hotel won't be for everyone, but if you don't mind a few blemishes and you like good value, it just might work for you. It certainly works for me. Okay, last sweep, got everything. Right, let's go. What? No, it's not a short time hotel. <laughs> I don't know. Lobby. Thank you very much. Great hotel as always. See you, nice to meet you. Have a safe trip. Nice little cafe in the corner here, but I don't really have time, so. And Terminal 21. I don't think she's open yet, it's still too early. Up to the BTS. Thirty. I think I'm all right. Oh, the other side's a lot busier, isn't it? <laughs> Typically. And up to the train platform. It's past the morning rush, but you'd never know it. It's still pretty busy, isn't it? If it was the morning rush, you've got a two or three train wait <laughs> sometimes. So luckily, we're just past that. Here comes my ride. Last car that you can see.
Pretty quiet. Mid morning here. Now I've got to go to Bangwa Sea Long Line. To your left. Perfect timing too. Look at that. Time check. I think we're all right. Let's take long. This queue will go fast because unlike tourists, people know what to do with their cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're ever to soak and you get stuck behind that one tourist that just can't fathom how to put their card into the machine. <laughs> office workers get the best deals. You think street food is, is the best deals? No, no, no. Office workers street food are the best deals. Also the best quality. Okay, Sea Long Complex not open yet. So down we go. We were here an hour earlier or so. This place would be swarming. <laughs> hard worker right there. A lot of hard workers. I wish I had time to sit down and have a cup of joke right now, actually, but I don't. That's exactly what I need. Bye, Canada. So true, cup. Okay, cup. To say I'm going to Canada, they all know exactly where you're going. It's the only embassy down the street, I believe. Take a left here. This place right in here, if we have time later, this is the epicenter of fantastic office street food right here. Later, if we get a chance, we'll pop in there. I hear people whinging about their they're embassies, especially the Brits. I don't know why I always the Brits. Hey, I've got UK family roots. I gotta say, the Canadian embassy is fantastic. They're so good. Never had a problem. Always so polite, too. Okay. Hello, I cop. You said bye. My thing. Pon put by Canada. Kun lu lawa. Come, cop. I said, I, I just told you I'm going to Canada, and you knew, yeah? And he said, sure, everyone knows. This place gets absolutely heaving at lunch hour as well. You just imagine, thousands of people streaming out of these offices. Okay, hopefully they'll have some more stuff when I come back. Okay, heading into the building here. Amazon, Obon Pan. Starbucks around the corner. And where I go to check into my embassy. Okay, I can't film anymore, it's top secret. I have to go through a security protocols there. See you in a bit.
A few minutes later. The new password required. Oh, the one on the right. I like the new look. Well done, Canada. Rightfully beloved King Boomball pride of place here. Right. I kind of like the old look, but I have to say, the new look, I'm digging it. Nice one, eh? <laughs> look at this for the first time. Look at the quality of this. Thick plastic there. I'm a quietly proud Canuck and I just love Canadiana stuff. Oh, look at the back too. I love that. Yeah, cool. Back through the parquet shortcut. See that? Looks like it's at the end of the soy, but it's miles away. That's the Mahanakon building. It's the tallest building in Bangkok still, I believe. And that's near the riverside. Where we'll be going next. But first, we've got to check out the Thai lunch fair offerings here. It's not lunch hour yet, but hopefully they've the vendors are all set up so we can have a look. Yeah. Everything from cheap clothes, you see 89 baht there, to cheap offerings. 40 baht, 50 baht, Kai. looks delicious. And only 50 baht, Hasi baht, my thing. Thank you. Two for 40. It just goes on and on. This is just barely even scratch the surface here. Oh, look at the size of those shrimps. Oh. All cooked fresh right in front of you. But wait, there's more. Bag of fruit? Not a light cup. Yeesip. Really? Fantastic. Come, come. Imagine coming here for this is your lunch every day. Look at this. Look at their prices from 30 to 40 baht. It's around a dollar for each of these. Just pick what you like. There you go. Egg the Olio Thai style. It's probably somewhere around 40 baht. So if you're looking for Fantastic value plus top quality food. Come to where the Thai office workers eat. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Okay, let's get to the riverside, shall we? Okay, let's head to the train. Maybe here comes a ride. What do you got? By Road Fight Tideen? Saves me walking. <laughs> it's only a short walk, but it's hot, man. It's hot. Oh, Tini, it's okay. Daika. Sit up. Thank you. Best way to get around Bangkok, especially at rush hour. Or if, or if you're just like me, lazy. No, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> and right beside the motorcycle taxi rank, even more excellent food being prepared. Pharmacist eating in there, you know it's safe food. <laughs> the pharmacist that probably works in the neighborhood, she's eating there. Left to the Sky Train. Welcome to Sapan Taksin. You notice that this is the only single lane track on the entire BTS. It's going to be a two lane track in the future, but they've got a plan. Right. Let's go across. Here we are at Sapan Taksin Boat Pier. This is where you get your express boat up and down the river, the tourist boat. It is fantastic. There's a map of the lay of the land. Free shuttle to Icon Siam. There's another free shuttle to Asiatique. Or you can take the local orange flag boat, as I always do, because it's only a couple of baht per stop. And we're just gonna take the, uh, I believe, five baht ferry straight across. I love it here. Love a long tail boat, yeah? It's 
some happy campers off on a Michelle Pryor tour. So if you want to live on the riverside, you've got lots of choices, right? For example, you could live at the river, who sent you back, uh, I don't know, probably minimum 50,000 a month, 40,000 a month, something like that. Or you can stay at the peninsula. That'll set you back probably at minimum 4,000 baht, something like that. Of course, the Shangri-La, one of my faves. But there's other options if you want to stay right in the riverfront, and I'll show you where you can live and stay for a lot less than that. First up, we've got to take a boat. Our public boat, right here. We could have also taken the BTS straight across to the to the next stop, but I prefer to take the boat. Here she comes now. When I lived down here, I used to take this boat almost every day. Loved it. I may live down here again. We'll see. You never know. This is the main ferry pier, Sawthorn Pier. It's one of the many hotel service boats. That one's going to the Mandarin Oriental. That roots the tail going. <laughs> There's a beautiful shot of the Changri La. Oldie but a goodie. Hey, I can have a closer look at the old Shangri-La a little bit later. And that, of course, is Icon Siam. Might also be having a closer look at Icon Siam later. Tourist boat there. See, you could pay, you pay 150 baht for that. Or just get the orange flag one. He'll probably dock up next to this one and we'll have to walk across or walk through. Yeah, no problem. Always enjoyable that ferry ride. We pay five baht. Hi. Okay, and once you pay and walk through, what do you got? You're straight into a park. Again, it's an after work kind of place, not the middle of the day place. Ties are more sensible than mad dogs and Englishmen in the midday sun. One guy uses the Flintstone gym there. This is all free, by the way. This gym gets really packed. A lot of famous bodybuilders came out of old school gyms like this, too. Another look back at the Shangri La over there. Beautiful. Where we're staying is literally less than five minute walk from here. It's middle of the day, it's a bit quiet, but let's walk through the park, anyways, and have a look. Gentleman's gonna show me something. You know a secret way. Straight, right? Ah. Kaku Wanka. Straight. And then left hand side. Okay. You can see the door there. Like this. I like his door. That's <laughs> you can try this. No. <laughs> Thank you. Kaku no. Wanka. You can hear the birds. Take a jog if you like. Play some volleyball, play some badminton. Football, as it's called in the majority of the world, or soccer in North America. This is my personal fave here, Takra. If you look if you look interested and you stand by, these guys will sometimes invite you in and say, hey, do you want to play? It's happened to me on several occasions when I lived here. And yeah, I suck at this. I play a mean game of hacky sack, <laughs> but Tagra is a whole other skill level these guys have down pat. What a great use of urban space, yeah? Underneath the roads, why let the space go to waste? Definitely make good use of it. There's a football game going on there. Basketball over here. Good head fake there. Nice rebound. <laughs> Great. 
girls too. <laughs> Here's one of the big difference between this park and say one of my downtown Vancouver parks or many in North America. There's no tents all over the place. Go figure. Fantastic use of urban space. Okay, coming out of the park. There goes the SkyTrain. So coming out of the park, you can turn right to go to Icon CM. It's about a less than a five minute walk. Or you can go left to our hotel of choice. Just a couple minute walk. It's opposite the park. So I used to live here for two years as well. Beautiful rooftop pool up there as well, infinity pool. Urbano Absolute. Also a five, well, not even a five minute walk. That is Sainafest, a local shopping mall. It's got a food land in there, which is like a Whole Foods. KFC, Wine Connection, a bunch of restaurants. There's also several charming restaurants along the way here as well. And right beside the shopping mall, Santa Fest right there, at night, there's some little bar beers that open up there along the strip, at least it used to. We'll have to check that out and see if that's still the case. There's another one, Box of Fit, Cafe and Bistro, Thai Italian and Steakhouse. Well, it's imported steak, so it's not super cheap, as you can imagine. It looks bloody good though, doesn't it? Or you get assorted Thai dishes from about two bucks. Up to you, as they say. Oh, they also have Danish food, salmon, all sorts. Wow, we will try this later. Okay, now we're literally one minute away. Fresh fruit, 20 cup, 7-Eleven. And this little restaurant I know well. I've eaten here a hundred times before at least. Fantastic place, Chernokon Soy 17, Steve Jet. Take a left, 30 seconds down there, you'd be at our hotel. So, a little perspective. There's the Santa Fe shopping mall, just across is the park and the boat. There's a 7-Eleven and our hotel just ahead. What do you got? And here we are at the Ibis. This to me is the best value, truly riverfront hotel in Bangkok, at least in the central riverside area. Ibis is a mid-budget range chain. They're very functional. They always have fantastic staff. And this is probably the creme de la creme because of its fantastic location. And pool, as we'll see. Oh, busy. Pet friendly, wow. Also have a shuttle bus to the BTS from Tonberry. I'd rather walk the four minutes to the ferry. <laughs> but there you go. That's for the internet, okay? So, and tomorrow for clean room, you must hang the black card for the housekeeping to come back up. If you don't hang the black card, the housekeeping will not come in. Understood. Okay. And in your room? <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye. Pretty efficient and quick, actually. Airport transfer and tours and whatnot. Let's have a quick look at that pool, shall we? Lovely. I mean, how lovely is that? Right on the riverside. For a fraction of the cost of what you pay the five-star hotels all around you. Great location hotel, isn't that? Wow, food looks awesome here. Cool setting for a dinner, yeah? Some people got a fishing pole out here. Some massage, loungers, pool, grounds, dining area, fantastic. Really can't top this for value <laughs> and location. You can stay at the Four Seasons if you like. I'll put up the price on the screen. If you, there you go. <laughs> Chaitrium's actually fairly good value in big suites. I've stayed there before. Of course, there's the ghost tower, complete with a ghost advertisement on there. <laughs> Skytrain going across. The nearest uh, BTS is about a five minute walk. Well, eight minute walk. But I prefer to just take the public boat straight across here for five baht. And that is about a three minute walk, four minute walk. 
then you get onto the orange flag boats, which is my mode of transport to go up and down this river. There's one over there with the red top. Look for the orange flag, a couple of baht per stop versus the 150 baht hop on, hop off tourist boats. Yeah, orange flag, it's the way to go. I did not get a Riverview room, but when I figure I'm right on the river, so I'll take the bargain room and enjoy the river when I go out. Right, quick room tour. First of all, surprisingly large looking bathroom. Usually they have a glass enclosed shower. I think I've got a special room here. Hair dryer and the usual, spotlessly clean, I might add. Mirror, TV, good sized bed. Very good sized bed actually for a small room. That's the thing about Ibis. The rooms may be small, but is made for convenience and comfort. For example, this bed is perfect. And it's not a whopping TV, but a good sized TV. And of course a safe, fridge. You can easily fit a 15 inch laptop in there. Fridge, a couple of water bottles in there, complimentary. And tea, coffee, kettle, nice touch. Extra pillow, nice touch. What I also like about Ibis is they always give you a chair and a desk. And again, I did not get the river view. I figured, hey, I'm on the river, it's right outside, I can get out and enjoy it, as you'll see, I will too. And I like common sense ideas like this as well. I mean, when you're at home, you wouldn't change the sheets in your bed every single day, would you? If you don't want your sheets changed, then please just leave that on the bed, which I will do. It saves detergent, it saves money, it saves energy, it keeps the price of the hotels lower. There you go. Okay, as always, there'll be a link for hotels below in the description. Just search for the Ibis Riverside, and I'll put the price that I'm paying on the screen now. I mean, you're literally surrounded by five-star hotel row here, but this hotel is the same real estate, riverfront, swimming pool, fantastic. Right, off to meet my friends and have a look at a great value condo at the same time. Let's go. Ebb and flow, I can hold on to you very much longer. Yeah. Might have to slip away. So this is floor 32, yeah? You should see this at night. Just incredible. Buddy cup from Pattaya. Got a tomahawk waiting there. Oh. Ma, ma, ma. Help me, help me. <laughs> hey, check out the Lou. Great name, whoever named this. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Some people got a fishing pole out here. Some massage, loungers, pool, grounds, dining area, fantastic. Really can't top this for value and location. 